Hey guys, St. Mac here. I'm um, playing a new mobile game tonight. Uh, it's called Captain Subasa, and I guess it's ranked, or I guess it's based on a, uh, a long running anime. Um, and just came out recently, like in the last couple days for Global. And uh, what I wanted to do in this video was just do a quick little guide on how to uh, re roll. Um, so, unfortunately, the re roll progress is a little longer than in most games. Uh, like, you're definitely not gonna be able to be doing 10 rerolls an hour. It's more like two an hour if, if you're, um, if you're really uh, focused and paying attention. But uh, I'm gonna give you some tips and hopefully speed it up for you a bit and uh, help you figure out what you're looking for. So uh, I'm just kind of at the end of a reroll right now. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, show you a poll and then show you how you reset and then start going again. Uh, hopefully I don't get a sweet poll here because then I won't want to reset it. But uh, so you can see in the top right corner now, I've got uh, 50 orbs. So they're actually called, they're called dream balls. And um, that's how many you need to do a 10 poll. And there's a 10 poll at the start, or sorry, like your first 10 poll at least, uh, you get a guaranteed SSR unit, which is um, the highest level highest rarity unit you can pull so that's what your kind of goal is you want to get that first 10 pull uh, you do automatically get another SSR unit and uh, you get uh, on a, a pull that you can retry repeatedly during the tutorial so you can kind of pick which character you want during that but uh, this is kind of the one that's can like make and break an account this first 10 pull so we've got a 50 orbs when we go in we're into our 50 pull and uh, we're hoping to get at least two SSRs here. Uh, you don't need to. Like, you can certainly start the game with three SSRs that you basically are given. But um, obviously, the more you have, the better. Um, so yeah, it looks like we only have one of them here. Uh, so I, I will definitely be resetting. So uh, that's good for the video, I guess. Um, and if you haven't got on yet, we're playing soccer. That's that's uh, that's the main goal here in the game. You're you're playing soccer, putting together a soccer team, and uh, all right. So Carl Hein Schneider is actually one of the the best uh, guys. I have him at the top, but it, it's not um, necessarily listed in order of best to worst. Uh, it's in the tiers at least. So uh, he's a forward, so that's why he's at the top of the list. But um, so he's definitely a good pull. We'll see. So there's our units. R stands for rare. Uh, this SR units like this one stands for super rare, and uh, yeah, so rare is kind of the lowest we can get in here, and super rare is the medium. But the, what we're looking for is the the double S, the, the super super rare. Um, so yeah, we can get it. We'll just we'll just finish the poll here real quick, and then uh, I'll show you how to reset. So um, this is a similar method used we use for, um, or you can use for, for several games, but what happens is you don't want to just uninstall and reinstall because then you have to download uh, all the files again. What you want to do is you want to go into apps, uh, you want to go to Captain Subasa, and this only works on Android, um, and then you go into storage. So you'll see there's actually a gigabyte, more than a gig of files here, so we don't want to delete all that. What we want to do is if we go to um, a, f a f file uh, manager, uh, this is this one's called Total Commander. Um, we can go down here and we're looking for uh, com dot klab. There we go. Dot captain dot two eight three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this file. So what I usually just do is uh, I throw an A at the end of it like that. Uh, actually, I guess I threw two characters there, but that's not a big deal. You can just throw anything at, at the end there. And then you come back here and you'll notice that uh, most of the data is gone, missing from here. So we're gonna clear the remaining data, clear the cache there, go back. We're gonna rename this file back to um, what it's supposed to be, which is just global, like that. Then we're gonna go back here and just double check that we, we we're back to having uh, a little more than a gig of data there. So. Um, this way we're not going to have to do a long download again when we start again. Um, and then we can go right back into the game. So, uh, 
launch the game again. And uh, we're going to say download here, but it's not going to have to download because since we've already done that. And uh, then we're going to go in and start up the game. And we're going to be uh, actually, sorry, we're going to have to overwrite our account here. Then we're going to start in the tutorial. So, uh, title screen here. And so we're going to use the one on the left. The one on the left is fresh data. And then we're going to hit OK here. And so it's going to say, like, data's been transferred. Not really transferring, it's just fresh data, but um, the fresh account. And then we agree to the terms of use. And then we should go right into the store later. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll turn on a little bit of volume here. So maybe you can pick up the in game sounds. But yeah, so if we hadn't done that trick with the file manager there, we would have been downloading all the, the files now. And then we're back in the tutorial. So um, if you've done the tutorial, it's pretty quick to go back through. It's just teaching how to pass and how to direct your players on the field. Uh, so we're just doing that. And then uh, we encounter, have an encounter with, uh, with Kaltz here. Pretty sure that's Kaltz. Yeah, and uh, it just tells you how to play, and I'll let you guys, if you haven't done this before, you've probably done this before if you're looking at a reroll video, but uh, it's pretty straightforward, so I don't cover too much about this. We'll just kind of speed through this tutorial here. And then we go in for a shot. So we're going to use your special shot, drive shot. And the animations here so there's quite a bit of animation in this game normally and they look really good but uh we're gonna end up turning those off for the reroll and runs just because it speeds up the games a lot to, to not have to watch these every time um, so despite the golden hand we get the goal and then um we're gonna get a bit more explanation here After the kickoff here and then you really want to make sure you hit skip coming up here uh, right after this yeah so she explains a lot more about how games work how the power meter works how you can set uh, strategies and put it on auto and everything and you want to make sure you don't hit continue here you want to skip uh, otherwise you have to finish the game so or finish the half I guess but still all right, so we're skipping ahead, and uh, now we get our, our first transfer. And the first transfer is actually very interesting because you can redo it until you get the player you want. And uh, so I've got a list up here in the background. And what we're looking for is, I mean, it's probably going to be hard to see in the video. I'll, I'll put a link to it um, in the description. But what we want is a character that isn't bold and that isn't italic. And so uh, El Cid here, here, you'll notice, is bold in the list. And he's bold because on that 10 poll that I did um, at, at the start of the video there, he's a, he is a one in six chance. Sorry. <coughs> you have a one in six chance of pulling all the bold characters and doing that um, during that temple. So we want to make sure that our starting character isn't um, isn't one of those bold characters that you can pull in the temple. Uh, so Herman Kaltz actually is a very good pull. Um, you'll see him, he's right down here, if you can see my mouse cursor. Um, so he's, in, he's S rank, but the nice thing about him is he's a defensive midfielder. And uh, he's the best defensive midfield you can get currently in the global version. Um, and a lot of the other characters, like the offensive midfielders and the uh, the forwards, there's quite a few of them available in the, in, out of those six that you can pull in the 10 pull. So uh, we're actually going to take him. So he's a, he's a very good guy to start with. Um, the other defensive midfield is good to start with. That's uh, Shingo Aoi. Um, there's some good forwards. I like the goalkeepers are pretty good if you can get them. Um, 
They include uh, Zeno Hernandez and Genzo Waka Wakabashi. Um, and then another great poll is uh, Carlos Santana. He's a forward, but uh, he's one that you can't get in the uh, the ten poll at the end. So he's nice to have as well. All right, so this is just gonna this is just part of the tutorial still, so running you through how to set up your team. Uh, so we're just gonna put the put uh, Calts in uh, and then make him our captain. So our captain is also who your friend unit is. And uh, friend units are important later. Because um, you share team skills based on who your, who your team leader is. All right, so this is kind of where it gets interesting. Um, so the first thing we want to do, we're gonna get some login rewards here. And we also get a, uh, a new account bonus let's skip that um all right yeah so we get a dream ball for logging in we get another dream ball for logging in and we get another dream ball for logging in so there's three login bonuses going right now um and we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna collect those and you also get 25 dream balls uh for your new account so we're up to 28 already um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our team here, back to our team. We're going to add in, we just, from our gifts, we just got a, uh, SSR Subasa. Here he is right here. Um, he's not strong as the gacha Subasas you can get, uh, the SSR ones, but he is pretty good. So he's definitely worth putting in. Um, and he's free, so you can't complain. So, uh, yeah, we're going to put him in. And then what we're going to do is there's a little achievement for changing your jersey. So we're just going to go in and make one quick change to our jersey. Um, and then go back home. So that's going to give us another dream ball, just making that little change. You can change anything in there. And then... Uh, you can get another quick uh, dream ball from going to profile. Uh, and then go to edit your team at the top and then changing your emblem. So if you change another, you just, again, you just need to make one small change. You can customize it later from what you're liking if it's something good, if you end up pulling uh, good players. But for now, you just make a single change and go back to home. And again, that'll give you uh, another orb. So if we go collect all our missions right now, uh, which are basically achievements, you'll see we've got some orbs right here. I'm just going to hit accept all, and we got uh, some dream balls and some other stuff. So uh, we're up to 30 already. We need to get 20 more. Uh, to get the rest, we're going to have to do uh, mi uh, we're going to have to do matches and story modes. So uh, I'm just going to make some changes here. I'm going to put on. I'm going to lower the grab quality. I just find it. Uh, makes load screens a little faster. Um, I'm gonna turn off rewarded ads and matches, just turns off an extra option when you're going to start a match. Uh, I'm gonna put on auto high speed. I'm gonna turn off all the, turn on all the skips. And I'm gonna turn off all the notifications. You don't really have to do that last one, but I usually just do it when I'm in there so I don't forget to do it later. All right, so that should be all the changes you need to make. So now we go into story mode. We get a quick rundown on on the different story modes and events and stuff. And then uh, we have the first uh, area unlocked here. So um, you can skip these. So usually there's some like cutscene type things in between the actual games, uh, but you get orbs from them as well, so they're not so bad. Um, so we already got an orb for that. There's another one here. And then we'll start the game and then I'll kind of do my outro during the game. So, there we go. Let's skip this one now. All right, it's another orb. And then we're going to start the game. So, um, just on normal mode, play match, solo play. And I usually try to pick someone with a 
S rank uh, team skill. You can see the team skills uh, right there. Like see the like, precision instrument, there's a little S beside it. So you should try to pick uh, S rank team skills and then kick off. You'll notice uh, at the bottom it's on auto. It's like at the double arrow. It's got skip matchup animations and everything. So if we hit kick off, it'll start the game. We shouldn't have to do anything. Um, the early story missions, you don't really have to manually control your guys. Later on, you might have to. Um, especially if you're playing online against other people's teams and stuff. But um, for the most part, especially while re-rolling, it's nice to just auto through it and uh, kind of take care of other stuff. And then it doesn't actually feel like the, the re-roll is taking as long. So, um, yeah, you basically do this way. You do, once you get up to around 46 orbs, you should be able to go back out to the home screen and then... Uh, collect more from missions. Um, some other notable ones, aside from the emblem and the uniform, you uh, you get one for the first friend you add. So uh, make sure at the end of the matches you're sending friend requests. And uh, if you have a question mark on your friends icon back on the menu, um, that'll mean that uh, you have a friend request coming to you. So if you accept that, then you'll get an orb from, from the achievements. Um, yeah, so aside from that, uh, I'll make sure to link this, uh, tier list type thing in, uh, in the description. And if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments or, or on Reddit, um, say Mac on Reddit as well. Um, but aside from that, that's it. Uh, I will mention, I played the game and it seems pretty fun. Like just even like outside of rerolling, I mean, like when you're rerolling, it's kind of tedious, but uh, once you get into the actual game and stuff, the gameplay is pretty good and the animations are great. So uh, I think this will be a pretty cool game if you haven't checked it out. Uh, I'll probably be trying to make a video um, maybe over the weekend of detailing more of the actual gameplay and stuff and some tips and uh, showing that off. But uh, for now, I just wanted to get out a quick reroll video to help people out. And so there we go. Yeah, we're through a match already. So I don't know that takes like maybe two minutes a match and uh, we ranked up as well so you get some awards and rewards and there's usually uh, little like submissions in the matches like usually it's win by three get a shutout and uh, get a hat trick and then you get extra rewards none of them are dream balls but uh, they're kind of worth doing as you go along but anyway I'm gonna leave it like that because it takes like another 10 minutes basically a match just to be able to roll again and um, you basically just end up where I started the video so Hopefully that was helpful. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos and everything, enjoying the game, and I uh, really appreciate you watching. So uh, best of luck with your rolls. Hopefully it doesn't take too many rerolls to get what you're looking for. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good night.